Welcome back to Hour 2 of Radio and Us, where it is time to talk about all the latest in K-pop that will make you an insider in the K-pop scene. We are joined with Kim Miso on Ni. Welcome and early happy birthday! Hi, thank Woo! you! Be sure to leave us a lot of welcoming and early happy birthday comments for Miso yes, on Ni. Yes, I know. Why don't thank you tell you so everyone much. when your actual birthday is? Well, my actual birthday is on the 24th of January, mm-hmm. so uh, I got a lot of messages from my fans, from really beautiful people like celebrating my birthday like oh happy birthday I was like oh it's on the 24th I was like okay so early happy birthday on 24th we're gonna celebrate you guys so like, yeah you've been celebrating sure, early, like, haven't I, you yes so. even my friends like she she said she's not going to be in the like in Seoul like for next week on my birthday so she bought for me like uh, yesterday she bought a really beautiful and good meal mm-hmm. you know I love Yano mm. so she went we went like you know to expensive Yano house and yeah. she brought the cake and she gave me the cake it's a very big cake mm-hmm. with a lot of flavors like tiramisu <gasps> cheesecake oh that's so tagi, good but I can't eat oh yeah all of that I was like what, what should I do with this cake should have brought it oh it's okay oh next my time. god next I week well, next I mean, will, week, it be, yeah. will it be still be good next week I'll, use, I'll still eat it to be honest <laughs> I don't really I don't know I don't know like I'm, I'm planning to to bring it tomorrow yeah, with yeah. A, with like when we're gonna yeah. meet but I'm not sure like okay if you guys gonna eat it I'm gonna bring it if you're yeah. not going to eat it I'm gonna let it in the fridge yeah it's too. just gonna rot that's so um, uh, that's so wasteful okay that's so, so I'm gonna bring it yeah, with bring me it. tomorrow we'll just okay. eat a lot of cake I ate a little bit of the t- tiramisu and yeah. the cheesecake mm-hmm. so it's not that beautiful oh it's yet, okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter cake okay. is cake <laughs> so it's all good okay so how was your week my week was good it was so busy you saw me you, you guys might have seen me pulling out my hair earlier yeah. I had sort of <laughs> busy week she and said she has a good really beautiful stress it's good stress it's like good stress it's like the stress where i'm like i have so many things to do but i'm on top of it but it's like i'm just like you know when you have your stuff to do and you're like on top of it but i'm like just this much on top of it yeah to where like it could go like less at any second yeah, yeah. So i need to stay on top yeah and so because of that i'm like all right let's stay i have to stay on my toes i have to keep doing mm-hmm. my stuff so it's been a lot of like random crazy things happening this yeah, week yeah, yeah. so we're just gonna see how they go and let them play out 2023 so far has been good but yes. it's been kind of crazy already yes, so i know i know every time i, I plan something it's like everything just to, like Oh, goes. yeah, it's like it goes somewhere else. Yeah, that's th- but that's really good. It's it, it's a kind of like good. Um, it's fun, I guess. Like, it's unpredictable. Yeah. Always unpredictable. I think so. Like if you have a good stuff to do and means that it's a good stress for you. So yeah. it's a good thing for you. So good stress. Good, good, happy stress. Anticipation. In that when sense. I will have that good stress. Yes. You had hmm. so much of that. Every time you came in, every time you came in, you like, had a new story. Yeah, I have a lot of things to say. Like whenever I meet like Denise here, we talk in Kakao Talk or, or Instagram, but yeah. we don't talk about, you know, a lot of stuff. So when we made up here, like I like to, you know, to talk face to face. So whenever I meet her here, I'll be like, girl, like, this listen happened. to this. We, so we have a whole week run down. <laughs> with like two minutes song listen. break. <laughs> Make songs longer again so Mizu and I can talk for more. <laughs> we can't stop talking, I know. I'm glad that your week has been good so far, yeah, though. Yeah, like, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was good yes, so far. Yes, and next week is going to be even more fun for you. Yes, you know, it's solar, my yeah. birthday, and one of my best friends, her family like invited me to go to to their grandpa house mm-hmm. for the solar i'm so excited for you're that you're gonna get homemade tokuk. that's gonna be so good yeah and I'm i get so and i get to get money yeah i know you know last time i i made sheep woman a girl she woman yes they can they keep giving me like mm, oh like, you're foreigner you need to i was like come some yeah <laughs> you don't do that oh no no oh no no no, no okay. i was like i was like at the first i i, I was looking at my friend's uh mom mm-hmm. and I called her Oma. I was mm-hmm. like, Oma. She was like, yeah, just t- take it, girl. Take it. Oh, oh, take oh. it. While they're giving to you, you need to take that it. That is like, true. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I just saw her when I went at home. I was like, Oma, no, Oma. Yeah, it is. Yeah. She, Oma, no? Yeah. Wow, that, that's really good. It mm. is. So she got 150 <laughs> because if you guys didn't know for Lunar New Year, there's usually a tradition where the elders will, um, will the younger people will bow to their seniors or their elders. And then thus, therefore, I don't really know why that started, but they give you money, which is why it's one of the greatest holidays of all, I guess, for a lot of people. Yeah. When you're young, though, you don't really realize I have had money that I've yes, gotten because from when I was a take kid. It from yeah. You. <laughs> like, where did all that money go? Yeah. Your mom would be like, hey, let me hold it for give you. It to me. I will just save it for you and I will give it to you little by little. 
and where is it? I don't yeah, know. but then again, I was like six. What am I gonna do with a twenty dollar bill? You know what yeah, I mean? All like, I thought you know. about at that age was ice cream, candy. So because like, I wanted to go to the <laughs> mall so bad, go yeah. get ice cream. Yeah. That was my number one thing that I <laughs> I used all my. If I had saved up all the money that I spent on desserts mm-hmm. when I was young. I would actually be rich. Like, yeah, I would. Like, I would be same, so rich. I told you, I used to cry for my mom, like just to give me like peg one. Oh yeah, mom, that's it, ten cents. Joe, like give me ten cents just to buy one candy. Yeah, I used to love these candies, and I can buy for peg one. I can buy like like ten. Oh of these. really? And my no, I think twenty. Yeah, twenty. It's it's a kind of like bear like this, oh. and it just melts in your mouth. Uh-huh. It was so good. And one day my mom, she was like following me, like, where do I spend this peg one? Mm-hmm. Like this 10 cents. Mm-hmm. And she saw me buy it and she was like, like fighting with the, with the owner of mm-hmm. that, like Pioni Jump. Mm-hmm. Why did you give it you to her? It to she's her? like, she, she gave me the money. Yeah. I gave her the candy. She was yeah. like, and she took those candy Equal from exchange. me. And it's literally, it's small like mm-hmm. this. One, one, it's more. She gave me three of these. <gasps> and she sent me to the school. She said, okay, spend the whole day with these trees. <gasps> I was like, Please, no. That's I mean, so like, evil. Yeah, like. Well, now you have as many pack ones as you want to get as many candies. It's when yeah. you get older, you realize you're like, dang, I can really buy eat and lot. do whatever I but want. But you, you, you just, you just don't. don't. You just like, like, could I have <laughs> ice cream for breakfast? Yes. Yes. Do I just choose? <laughs> I've done it before. Yeah. But do I just choose not? To? That's the moment when I realized I was an adult <laughs> when I was living alone in Korea, and I it was yeah. like. 11 a.m. and yeah. I went to the ice cream store and yeah. I just got ice cream, like a pint yeah. of ice cream yeah, yeah. for breakfast. Yeah. And I felt like, I was like, oh, I'm an adult. Yeah. And I was like, this is it. I make my own choices. Yeah, like literally happened to me too. Like I wake up and I just grab ice cream, yeah. chocolate ice cream. And I was like, should I just go out and buy ice cream or should I just stay here and eat that apple? And I was like, nah, I'm going to get ice cream. Yeah. And I just like go and eat ice cream. If my mom knows that, you oh have choices as you get yeah. older, which is super fun. <laughs> but yeah, so basically that's what Thailand is all about. It's about it's about spending time with your family and the yes. Lunar New Year and receiving money. Yeah. But when you get older, then you have to start giving money. Yeah, I don't give money though because yeah. there's no like um, children in my family. Oh. But now like my sisters gave like in a birth uh, have children, but I don't meet them that much because once she's in France, once she's in Belgium. Mm. And once in Morocco. So whenever I go to Morocco, I can like only meet one my my sisters. Mm-hmm. So it's fine. I'm still like one of the younger ones in my family. And none of my cousins or family members have kids yet either. Oh, okay. So I'm still on the the young side in the family. So I'm like, all right, let's we'll keep it as, as far as I can at this point. She's 22 or she's 23? 22. 22? I'm 29. Girl, no, we still get in the same. We're on the same. We're in the, when it comes to time, we're all the kids. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's All great. All right, so let's get started with the show. In the first part, we're going to be talking about this week's hot topic that Mizoni and I chose. So the first topic that we're going to be talking about is... Da, 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 boy group, group audition, audition programs. programs. Yeah. So last year, many girl, gr- girl groups showed great performance. I guess the area of boy groups will come this year. Many boy group audition programs have started. So we're going to talk about this today one by one. So we are starting right now with Boys Planet, which is currently on air. And let's, what do you, uh, can you explain a little uh, bit about like that? Boys Planet is uh, where the boys can show their like uh, poten- potential. Is it divided into a K group and G group? So, and the, when the two words collide, mm-hmm. one big word is born like K-pop boy group making projects rec- created and debuted by global fandom i see okay so it's k group and g group and then yes. it's like one big and planet one big at that planet. point mm-hmm. oh that's so fun and that is currently on air right now i know like uh, that's but i mm-hmm. do actually there's a couple of friends i have in that show so whenever i saw them i was like you on Boys Planet? I was like, so surprised. You know, I had the same program last month. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You don't use it that. <laughs> and I failed in the fourth audition. Yeah, but you went really far. But literally, I when I see the video, I was like, dang, I was so bad. No. <laughs> I was so bad. That's because like this is my first stage ever. Oh. And in front of this stone of people, like at least 200 people was there. Like the the... The staff people and the girls, like 100 girl, like mm-hmm. was behind me. And I was like, damn, 
I was so bad girl but <laughs> it was a good experience I'm really proud of myself because like literally my voice shaked so badly you know yeah, like I have nervous. never I have never like practiced in this kind of, of competitions and also like I have never like um you know uh, like oh my god practice my voice mm. or like you know have that kind of lessons mm-hmm. so I was like just in loss you know mm-hmm. I was like But my like my my manager was like you know just go and have fun girl I was like I was having fun but at the same time I was like scared I was going to the bathroom at this like whenever I finish I go to the bathroom oh my god because I was so so scared I have a stage phobia girl like, really yes I have stage phobia but when I'm around my friends it's fine yeah because they're my friends I will just go take the lead hey I'm gonna sing for you tonight mm-hmm. but if you put me on a stage with a lot of people I will be like. Uh, Oh no! <laughs> I'm that kind of person. No, you need to get the adrenaline going for you. It's really fun. Yes, if I was with someone I know, like there, if it's it's because it's a competition. Yeah, you're like punk out with them. Like they're looking yes, at you and they're literally yes, judging you. Judging you. That's why it's it was very hard. For of course, me. it's really nerve wracking. Yeah, so I know this kind of programs. Yes. Ooh, oh um, my god. The next one we have up is peak time, which will be on air 2023 and yes. starting February 15th. And this is the survival competition program of the largest idol wow. team ever. And wow. there's going to be a match between teams that have already debuted but have not gotten many opportunities oh. to shine. So it's going to show the best performance with support of the world-class production team, including production, performance, and visual directing. Wow, so that's that, really that's, big. that's amazing. Like, that, this is very exciting. The largest idol team ever. Wow. I, I mean, like... I wonder how many, w- yeah, how many yes. there could be. Yeah, that, I was wondering, like, how many could be there? Like, the largest team ever. Because like, I think right now the largest team out there is NCT. 13, right? No, NCT's got, like, 20-something. Got, like, 20-something members in the full entirety of NCT. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's 20-something, that's all I know. Because I remember when wow. I heard 20 and then I blacked out after that, because I like, that's a, <laughs> that's a classroom. Like, that's a school. Yeah, like you can teach there. Yeah, so, so like, oh I God. guess they are going to be having a team and it's a match between teams that have already debuted, which is really interesting. Oh. We're going to have a really hard time memorizing the names. Oh, I think they already debuted, but they haven't gotten many opportunities. So yeah, in the like, terms of their, it's like the show Kingdom, whenever they brought out groups that yes. have already debuted and yeah, are yeah, allowing yeah. them to get more exposure. Yeah, yeah. So I think they're going to be like a group who debuted mm-hmm. and group like or boys who still debuted. like, yeah, mm-hmm. just going to debut, like something <gasps> like that. time. That'll be really fun to watch. I think it's really yeah. interesting to see because they bring out different concepts or different things yeah, and they true. do covers of other songs that bring out other concepts that you wouldn't have seen them done, done normally. So that's really exciting for a lot of fans to watch. So all of them like might be half companies, right? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, I see. Mm-hmm. So I think that'll be really fun. And yeah. then next we have Excitement After School 2, but yes. Boy Fantasy, which is going to wow. be on air this spring. So can you wow. tell us a little bit about that one? Like, is it... it in an exciting spring, a new concept boy group audition is coming up to fill your fantasy. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, let me see, let me see. So the boy group version of the audition program that made the beauty of Class C. I see. Oh, excitement after school. So that's where the group yeah, Class C came from. Came from. So yeah, it's gonna be yeah like that. Mm-hmm. There's so many shows coming out. So they have like Boys Planet on air currently. And then we have Peak Time that's coming out in February. Excitement After School, which is coming out in the spring. So after every show ends, I guess they have another one coming on. I will have a really hard time. There's so many. There's so many. I don't memorize my friends now. How, how now I'm going to memorize these beautiful boys? Yes. Even I don't know who are they, but oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to like, okay, whatever. I think it's really cute to but see. But it's gonna be like, process. yeah, I'm, I'm like new faces, new things, new competi- competitions. Like, there's gonna be fire. I can't watch survival shows because I used to be on a survival show too. Like, yeah. that's how I got started in Korea. Yeah. Watching them, and since I know like the training process and everything, if I watch those, my heart gets <laughs> ripped out of my chest. Like, I'll start crying. Is it what, hard? It's really hard because you're you're under so much stress, mm. under such a little amount of time to practice and work yes. and show your best self or your best stages. Oh. But you know, for example, you could get sick. You could, there's so many things that can happen, but you have to perform and that's on the internet forever. And there are people judging you to see like whether you will succeed and go through or not. Well, as you said, like, mm-hmm. it's gonna be on internet forever. That's what my video went viral. Oh my god, 
surprised. In the Arab world. I was so surprised. You know, I didn't tell my fans about mm-hmm. this because I wasn't Dude, good. I was so bad. They're fast. So they are so fast. Like literally in the fourth, I think, competition, they found me. They was like, oh, nee, is that you? Mm-hmm. I know I didn't answer a thing. So they start like sharing the video. This is me. So this is me. So this is me. So and it went viral. And there is a page like almost get 200k views. <gasps> and I was like, that's so many. I'm sorry, guys. No. I know that I did so bad, but that was my first competition you did good. ever. No, trust me. You no, should. I watched it. You showed no, me. I was I was so shaken. Like no, my voice you're was shaking. Like, oh, it's, you, it in was the just, rap you were part, it was fine. Rap part because I I'm like good at rap, but when I was singing, my voice really was shaken. <laughs> it's okay. You did a good job. I Thank think you, you did a good job. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, these um these survival shows are they are survival. You know, like audition programs. Yes, they're so cutthroat sometimes. Wow. And, it's just so hard because also you'll make friends with the people there yeah. and then it's like you they might make it and you don't or you might make it and they yeah, don't yeah, yeah. and at that point it's so hard because it's not for me i don't really think of it as oh you're my competition you yeah. know what i mean it's just like cut, let's let's do let's, well together yeah. but then in the end you know there can only be a certain number of people mm. who make it but that doesn't mean you don't make good friends throughout the process but it's just really hard because you get so emotionally attached yeah 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 yeah. and then there's cameras everywhere all the time (gasps) they're all watching you doing whatever you can't get a moment of peace in that way they follow you when you're sleeping yeah they like they they fall they don't fall in your sleep they film and then there's like the morning like wake up scenes you're in a dorm you're under so much stress in a new environment at that point that it's just it really throws you sometimes Mm, i can understand that Mm. but yes so there are a lot of uh survival boy group audition programs coming out so be sure to check them out and find out who your new bias might be and root for them yes like i think there will be a lot of biases this year Mm -hmm. yes i do too well am i allowed to have a bias because you know i'm old (laughs) no of course you are you know sometimes you're like yes my son Excuse no, you. No, <laughs> I think they're my sons when they're like two years younger than me. I'm like, it's my, it's my really? other. I'm like, like it's my little child. But sometimes, like, I feel, am I allowed to say, like, you know, like, um, uh, you know, NCT yeah. or you know, this new uh, group, mm-hmm. like Seventeen? Am I allowed to say that I'm really fan of this guy or I like this guy because I'm afraid the fans they will be like girl you're older than him no because sometimes they do it. I, I you understand know. what you mean. Though. You know, whenever I talk about J Hope, they will be like, girl yeah come on like oh, come, come on, on. I, was like, I can't handle it i'm a fan of this artist i love his music i love his style i love his personality as an artist i yeah. can't handle it it's not like i'm a man like, yeah you know what as I mean. an artist you need to understand this i just love you can him. admire them as an artist yeah, completely yes. it doesn't have anything to do with that yeah, but you can yeah, totally yeah. pick a bias at that point that's all okay i would yeah. prepare mm, yeah i would be prepared <laughs> have popcorn and everything <laughs> Oh my god. She said, I can only survive in eating shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a good one. We can only, I think, survive in eating shows, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's always, I can't watch them. It's nighttime when it airs. Well, they always have them uploaded as well. And yeah. people watch a lot of the clips online, I think. There's a lot of comments th- today about the, new, the, the subject we're talking about today. Yeah. Um, they it must have be so stressful so to, to be a survival show, especially if you are an introvert. That's introvert. so hard because of the fact that, you know, you need, like, camera time at that point. Yeah, it's really know. hard, but it's, you know, it just depends on how it goes for you. Of, of course, And the course. editing and stuff, but... You just go f- with the yeah. waves. Alrighty, <laughs> so we had so much fun talking about that, and that topic was so much fun. That there are so many boy group audition programs coming out. So listeners, what was your hot topic for the week? Let us know in the comments, and this is how you can let us know. So click on the banner that says Radio Nuss, and that will take you to our homepage where you can leave your messages. Yes, next, we're, this time we're going to learn more about the artists that we love. So Miso and I are going to read about a K-pop artist, so listen carefully and guess which artist it is. Yes, I will well guess which artist is it while reading this so please help us a lot by shall we take a look at the first artist information okay so music music start they are a seven member girl group that debuted on january 3 2022 they are the first units of a project in which female artists from the same agency will unveil new combinations of units by theme Ah, i feel like i know who this is they are all made up of a combination of active singers who have already made their debut. 
This group is all Korean and has no foreign members. The age difference between the oldest and the youngest members of the group is 15 years. 15. Wow, I think I know. Yeah, each member of this group has a record of winning a grand prize. They are releasing music with strong beats, just like their team name. Mm -hmm. They made a comeback with their first mini album in a year. Uh, their new music video was uh, produced with a, a raw and intense uh, atmosf atmosphere. Yes. Their new album contains songs that are range from a wide range of themes and messages, including a sense of competition and self-love from various generations. Yes, I think I know. I believe we would know as well. Yes. I think that we need to take they a got step it. They got it. back and they see got it. who it might be. All right. You guys I think you got guys are doing it. it great. You guys got that. So, so let's see. <laughs> Got the, the beat. beat. Oh my god, sorry. Got, got the, the beat. beat. Or yeah. girls on top the beat. I know, like got the beat. Yes. That that's that's a good like they know how to choose, you know, like they know how to make this girl group. I think it's that so was iconic. Because even it's when they so started iconic. with Super M. Yes. Super M yeah. and then with Got The Beat. I think that's so creative and Yeah, smart. I know. Like, this is very, very smart. Like, whenever I listen, they have a very, all of them have very strong voices mm -hmm. and very, like, you know, strong appearance, mm -hmm. you know, and they're so good and, you know, cute ones, you know. Yeah. Know. <laughs> and their songs are so powerful and yes. strong and I they're just so vocally strong strong uh, there's just such strong vocalists yes. in that group that it's absolutely crazy like every I know, time I know. when i first heard step back i was like does yes. that even work like y'all yeah, like, are singing like like literally every girl when they like she sing her part i'd be like you know exactly who it is too I, yeah i know exactly that's why i was like like they know who choose like they made very very good choices why, why choose. like of course there's a lot of good artists of mm -hmm. course but like like uh Taeyeon, mm -hmm. she was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And who else? Oh my god. Oh my god. Taeyeon, Wendy, Pua. Uh, uh, Pua, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Taeyeon and Pua Sambinim, like I love them and I love Taeyeon's voice. Like yes. I listen she I, my, in my list. Like I have all of her songs, mm -hmm. I think. And just she she's amazing. I just love her. I just love her. I do too. All right. I even went to her concert, you know, <gasps> like I was I would literally do anything just here. Na -na 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 -na. Like, oh my god, I listen she to sings that. She a cappella. Like literally she sang an a cappella. She was so beautiful that the that white the dress, dress. I think the white yes. dress or she was so beautiful and she talked with her fans like, you know, like one one girl she was like one guy was like wearing Elsa, I mm -hmm. think. I remember and she saw what she was laughing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was amazing. There's so many amazing women in that group and I think they did such a great job making that team and their yes. songs and their production are so great. Yes. And they came out with their very first mini album this year. So 2023 is starting off on a big note for them. I know. So that is that for the first artist. So shall we take a look at the second artist now? Music start. Oh, music. Oh, yeah. Music Sorry. <laughs> He's a member of the boy group that debuted in 2006. He began his solo career in 2008, and in uh, particular, the title track of his second full length album released in 2014 topped the virus music chart at the same time. Mm -hmm. He is a senior whom Blackpink's Rose, BTS's Shimin, and J Hope respect and want to resemble the most. Wow. Okay, I think I got this. He has a cute son. I think I know. Yeah. He's famous for loving his fans and especially distributing food well to his fans. When he went to Jeju Island, he bought kimbap and distributed to them. Uh, he opened his first official fan cafe on January 3, 2023, and he visits once a day and leaves a message of love for his fans. So cute. He likes handwritten letters, so he writes handwritten letters to his friends, and he also likes handwritten letters the most among the gifts that he receives from his fans. Yeah, he moved to a new agency after 16 years. He was a muse for Fendi in 2017 and was recently selected as the first Korean 2023 global ambassador for Givenchy. Wow, he's recent album top the iTunes worldwide chart. I feel that I we have know, a very good sense of because who I this love this guy. I very love his songs. Sunny person could possibly be. Yes, can you please show yes. us the I artist? I think that we have a very yeah, you guys are guessing you, really well you're today. You're guessing well. All One, right, two, two three. three. Oh my. <laughs> 
All right. Oh my god, I love this song. And Taeyang just came out with his new song Vibe featuring with Jimmy. Of BTS. My boy. <laughs> and that's so crazy and cool because of the fact yes. that Jimin looked up to Taeyang for so long and he actually yes. would like go out and say that yes. he was his like, idol. He was his idol. Like he always like say, Oh my god, I love Taeyang. And now he's making a song. He made a song with his favorite idol. I think that's so that's such a dream come true. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, like we saw like uh who again made a, a collab with his favorite idol? Uh, there's so many yeah i like we talked about this last, last week, week we i did think talk about with, this like, last week like who's your favorite like yeah. idol who want to like collaborate with yeah. like, jesse or hyona yeah. or like you know so many amazing artists know, at that point but it's the fact that you know it's a crossover between like second gen and mm. third fourth gen i guess you yes. could say that bts is kind of in the middle of yeah, yeah so yeah. in that way for them to combine and for Tan to come back with such an yes. amazing song it's like funky like, it's fresh Oh it's God. very kind of giving Bruno Mars, which I mm. love. It's giving, like, what is it? Um, Silk Sonic kind of vibe. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's so fun. The vibe. Yeah. That but, part. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, the dance, the, the like, dance the is dance, so fun. Like, like, they're so smooth with it. They're so talented. They yeah. both have such a different vibe, I guess you could yes, say. Of course, of but course. they both um, really do the dance and the song so well. And yeah. their voices really suit each other. And yeah, I that's think, what I was thought. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I thought. Like, the, their voices are sweet with each other. Mm-hmm. They, they, they did a good good collab yeah it's super exciting and i think a lot of the fans really enjoyed it as well i know like um i think like the fans will be like saying hey jimmy now you made your dream come true yes now you're you met the the, the idol that uh, it's not of course he he met him before but like you know to collab with such an idol like as Taeyang like he's so know. iconic you know what yes, I mean yes he's so iconic and I love Taeyang's personality he's just like he has a son that's crazy I know like when he married I was so happy you know like sometimes when I see my favorite idol married I'd be, I'd be like mm. so you grew up with them but at that yeah, point yeah because I grew up with him but but Taeyang when I saw him I was like oh my god I'm so happy like I don't know why like I felt like I'm there in the wedding like, yeah. like oh my god I'm so happy I'm so happy so I'm, I'm really happy for him he's a, he's, he's a good man he has a whole he's a whole dad and he's still coming out he's got all his he looks so fit and he's like coming out he still looks so young too of course he is young he's still young come on of course <laughs> no no he is I'm not saying he's not he but is. he still but looks he still so look, fresh. Like, for, like fresh like you know the not the old Taeyang I'm not gonna say the old Taeyang but he looks from like, debut, yeah, like from he was such debuter. a baby when he debuted that's yes. the thing I love his eyes though. yeah they're so medioc there's so much yes. charm I love the eyes without sankopul. Yeah, um, monoliths. That, yeah, I I love those kind of eyes. Okay, you guys really like it, I guess. You guys really like vibe. Almost same thought, Denise. Yes. yes. Their combination just made the made song, the song click, click perfectly. I know, I know. This is so good. This it's is such so a good. fun song. It's been blowing up everywhere on my TikTok and everywhere else. I, I s- want to do song with Denise. We are, yeah, we can do it. We should, should we do Nunku Eid? Oh. Should we do, yeah, we, we still haven't thought about that. Oh, Why don't we think about that one? I'm in because Nunku Ip is one, chi, like literally, I swear, it's my favorite song. It's my favorite song whenever, like, you know, when I was in love. Yeah. I used to sing it a lot in karaoke. Aww, it's so now cute. I'm not. <laughs> Mine are always sad songs. My go to was Yeposo by Day Six or, oh, really? or You Were Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> That's my go to. Like, sometimes, like, you know, when, when you move on, mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, you yeah. just like. You just remember. You remember, you. you Reminisce. You, you like, you sing Chunni. Yeah. <laughs> Chunni, do you know you, this song? No. Oh my God, I'm old. <laughs> no, you're not. I just you, don't know K pop. You don't know Chunni, like, Apuda. Yeah, okay. No, whatever. I don't. Yeah. I just don't know K pop that well. I'm not going to talk about this song. Okay, no. I feel I'm old. Okay, no. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully, oh you guys are enjoying listening and you guys guessed along. You guys are doing really well in the YouTube comments. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying listening to our radio. We're going to listen to a song and come back and read some of your messages. If you have any questions about K pop, please send them all in. Also, I'm curious about the K pop that you've experienced and all the stories that you have. So, please send us anything related to K pop that you want to talk about. Click on the banner that says Radio and Us and that will take you to our homepage where you can leave your messages. All right, so while the song was playing, we had a listener who sent in a message. So shall we read it together? Yes, let's read it together, Denise. All right, so, so this is from, from Sunrise. Sunrise. Hello, Denise and Miso. Happy New Year. What are your plans for the New Year Day? 
You said a little bit earlier you're going to your friend's grandpa's. Yes, actually, like, my friends, you know, told me, like, to go to their grandpa house. I'm going to receive some money and come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping by some family's house for a little bit. And then I'm also going to my friend whose birthday is actually on the day of Lunar New Year. Who yes. If the birthday fell on the day of Lunar New Year this mm. year. Yeah. So me and some of my friends who we all kind of don't have family in Seoul because mm -hmm. we're all, like, foreigners. We're getting together and we're going to have tteokguk at one of our friends' oh, houses. I don't want to eat tteokguk because I'm going to be older one year again. <gasps> I love tteokguk. I love tteokguk, but I'm not going to eat it in the solar day. Oh my no. gosh. Okay, you but just have it for fun. the problem is, I think I might have it. Oh yeah, no, we have, of course I you're going to have tukuk. it. I love tteokguk. I love tteokguk. All right. Well, sadly, it's already time to say goodbye, but hopefully yes. you had a good time with us on Radio and us today. But, yeah, like, um, we have something to say, guys. Oh, okay, not yet. So we are still going on and doing more things. So yes. we have, uh, do you have any other plans for Sola? During the holiday, like During it's a the long holiday? holiday. Actually, you know, tomorrow I uh, invited Denise to my birthday party. Yeah, We're going to just be girls together, you know, girls night. Yeah, we're going to get dinner. So, it's going to be really uh, fun. We're going to just have fun, you know, eat uh, great food. And after that, we're going to go like uh, karaoke. Yeah. Yeah, I already like reserved karaoke We can practice room. there. Yeah, we can so, practice Lung Khalif there. Yeah, that's why I'm, I was going to take the cake with me to mm -hmm. the karaoke. <laughs> that's going to be so and fun. And we're going to like sing together. No, you know. Cool. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> like, uh, who gonna start? Biani, biani, Only you have to start. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start it. Okay, that that would be good. That would be good. And after that, we're gonna go. Oh no, we're gonna dance. Like, we're gonna do everything. I think in that room because yeah. it's kind of like a room. You just um, can do everything. Can like do everything. And then the holiday Saturday, I think I'm just gonna be sleeping in my house and walk Hubi a little bit. Yeah. My dog. And then Sunday, I'm gonna go to my friend's house. It's gonna be so fun. And the other days, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna stay at home, I think. Yeah. You've been working out a lot. All right. Yes. So sadly, it is now officially time to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you had a good time with us here on Radio and Us. But yeah. And uh, Denise, do you have something to say? I do. I <laughs> mentioned it earlier, but next week is actually my last week as a DJ on Radio and Us. So yes. So let's it might be my last day also. No. <laughs> you guys so can have our so much last fun day in Arirang Radio, I think. Next yes. So week. be sure to tune in next week. Yes. So and also thank you guys so much for always listening and tuning in, and be sure to tune in next week for our last episode together. I guess yes, next week, like we're gonna have so much fun. We okay. are. So thank you guys so much for listening in today, and we're gonna be listening to our last song and say goodbye. So I'll see you next week. And this is Puzzle by SF9. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye.